Kana Bridge of Spirits is an amazing fantasy-like game. The developers originally started out as an animation company, and the quality definitely delivers. Throughout the game, you have to help spirits, find relics, and defeat difficult bosses. There are 42 different trophies we have to earn, including the Platinum. Before we continue with the rest of the video, I need to let you guys know that 98.6% of you guys are not subscribed. If you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe because I'm not stopping anytime soon. In order to get the Platinum, I have to complete the whole game on Master scary. Difficulty. Over time, I'll come to realize that some bosses and enemies in the game are extremely difficult. They are way more aggressive and you take way more damage. My rot meter also goes down, which is used for special abilities. So to sum things up, I can't get hit and I have to learn how to parry. For our very first trophy, we discover rot for the first time. Throughout the game, there's about a hundred of these dudes you have to find and collect. And the now more of them you get, the stronger you become. Hero Rot joined our team. What? He's so squishy. Before I started the game, I was looking at the trophy list, and I saw that you have to defeat okay. three enemies with one parry. Right. Nice. Alright, cool. That was, yeah, I destroyed three enemies with a single parry. I'm glad we got that knocked down. After walking around for a bit, we discovered our first main location, the village. Hi, Kyo. Discovered the village. After leaving the village, we come across this corrupted, scary-looking forest, and we get a trophy just for discovering the area. Into the woods. Next, we get a trophy for cleansing a flower shrine. Like the rot, there are many of these spreaded throughout the game. <laughs> Good as new, we restored a flower shrine. What does this do? Oh, money! While fighting enemies, I get my second combat trophy, oh, and that's that? for killing a shield sticks without breaking its shield. Between, wait, between the eyes. Destroy the shield sticks without breaking the shield. Oh, okay, that works. Now we arrive at the first roadblock of the game. Oh, this is a boss arena for sure. Oh yeah, boss time. Hmm. Okay. Kappa. <laughs> Ow, what? Rock commander, wait. Use five raw actions in a single combat. Different After the boss, we meet this dude and he teaches us how to use the bow. Hunter in the forest, we learned how to use the bow. So how do we use it? Let me use it! After progressing the story a bit, we come across this mysterious, corrupted area. Oh, another boss? Wouldn't I? Oh man! Oh. Ow! Do I have to reset the monk? What sucks about this is that every time I die from the boss, I have to defeat these monkeys all over again. And they take forever to defeat. I need to do the monkeys again, really? Oh, that scared me. Come on, come on, wait, we're close. Am I dead? Oh my gosh, let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. Taro's knife. There we go, Taro's fear. Found the knife relic. Throughout the game, we'll find these relics, and there are a total of nine of them in the game. There are three for each character, Taro, Adira, and Toshi. In order to obtain Taro's second relic, we have to fight the Sprout Captain first. Oh, oh. There's no heals. Hammer. Almost done. Let's go, let's go, dude. Taro's love. After progressing the story a bit, I come across another boss. Oh, this looks scary. Another boss? No, dude. Oh, no. Oh, we're gonna be here for a while, man. Oh, no. Let's go, we're done. We beat it. Let's go. Wait. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, chill, 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 chill. Yo, chill. Chill. Chill, chill. Chill. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> Imagine if I was one shot. That would have sucked, dude. Taro's regret. Okay, we found the lantern relic now. This next part was so so good, dude. Some parts in this game gives me Majora's Mask vibes. Oh, he's back. Wait, what? Bro, what? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Bro, back up. Yeah, this boss took me forever. Ooh, weird. I'm scared of you. Back up. In what world? That's right, I healed. <laughs> Third. All I need to do is do my combo attack. I think I did it! I think I did it! You're done. Spirit God. Defeat Corrupted Taro. That took a long time. Next we open this big door and we learn the bomb ability. Harness your power. Learn the bomb ability. Hold L2, then press R1 to throw a bomb. R R1. And then shoot it. Whoa. On the other side of the room where we learn the bomb ability is the farm. The open range. Cover the farm. Whoa. Well these mountains look cool. While on the hunt for Adira's first relic, we get a trophy called Quick Draw. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Hit three critical spots in three seconds. Excuse me? The Vine Knight boss is actually pretty easy. So close, we got this. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. Nice. Let's go. This is the third place we had to cleanse in order to open up this flower. Ooh, let's so we gotta use rot, do that, then shoot it. We should get a relic. Whoa! Whoa. Dude, that's awesome. Adira's love. Since we have the bomb now, we can get the weigh them down trophy. So, for the rest of the video, my mic is muted during the gameplay. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. While trying to find Adira's second relic, we come across a stone guardian. This is a trophy for getting three kills with a single rot fuse arrow. Here we enter this big cavern and there's this big tree thing there. I had to dodge the fire waves in order to get to it and destroy it. And here we get the third relic for Adira. Just like Taro, Adira gets corrupted and we have to defeat her. After we defeat her, we get a trophy called the Heavy Hammer. Next, before we go to the mountains, we have to learn how to dash in order to access the three areas to get each of Toshi's relics. The first area leads us to the Mask Maker. It was overall a pretty simple fight and didn't really take too long. Before we get Toshi's second relic, we have to defeat this dude. This dude has to be one of the coolest looking bosses in the game. But thankfully, I beat him on my second try. Alright, now for the final relic. After solving this little puzzle, the boss emerges. This boss took a lot of hits, so whenever I died from it when I was at low health, I got really demotivated. But in the end, it only took a few tries. Now that we have all three relics, we can fight Toshi himself. This part definitely caught me by surprise. I got absolutely destroyed on my first try. After about 50 minutes, I finally prevailed and defeated this dude. Okay, this part was kind of funny to me, but he corrupts all these rot dudes. 
and afterwards the door to the mountain shrine opens. Now it's time for the final boss, the Corrupted Rot God. For the first phase, we just had to shoot these red orbs on its body. After shooting all of it, we get teleported and we have to defeat a bunch of enemies. Now I'm not going to show it, but I died on this boss probably the most out of every boss in the game. Once we defeat all three waves of enemies, we get teleported to the Rot God once again and have to bring its health down to a certain amount. Afterwards, we get teleported to this area where we have to traverse a bunch of floating rocks. We get all of our rot power back and then after that we get teleported for the final phase of the boss. And then we get the last story trophy of the game, Restore Balance. After a cutscene, we get the trophy for completing the game on Master Difficulty. Now it's time to clean up the rest of the trophies of the game. Here, all we have to do is take a picture with photo mode. While completing this cursed chest, I got this trophy called Bowmaster. Meditation spots allow you to increase your health, and after finding every single one, we get the trophy Zen Master. Now for the sharpshooter trophy, we have to throw a bomb and shoot it while it's still in the air and kill an enemy. For the triple tap trophy, we just have to kill three enemies with a single dash. We get the curse collector trophy for completing every single curse chest in the game. This trophy probably took me the longest out of every single combat trophy in the game. Basically, we just have to kill a mage, which is the most annoying enemy in the whole game with its own bomb. For the Restoration Master trophy, we just have to clear all the flower shrines. Throughout the different zones in the game, you will come across Spirit Mail. In the village, there are several corrupted locations that you need the Spirit Mail for. Once you put the Spirit Mail in the mailbox, you can enter the location and cleanse it. After we deliver all the Spirit Mail, we'll get the last stop trophy. This trophy is for collecting 50 raw hats. And this trophy is for collecting all the rot in the game. For the last trophy before the Platinum, we have to upgrade our skill tree to the max. After grinding the rest of the currency that I needed to unlock the final skill, we get the trophy and then we get the Platinum. 